Hello everybody, I'm Protector of Protectrix here, and we are up with episode 2. Basically, as I was saying, we were fighting with some SIDs, and now we got another SID, so, yeah. Anyways, basically, they just overpowered, bam, look at that, overpoweredness. So we just got a second SID, and we are now just killing them in the face, really. Once I get four SIDs up here, we basically won. So, uh, we're gonna sell that Modi because we really don't need it. The fact is that we got SIDs and Rickies now. Now, eventually, we're gonna get to a point where they're gonna be bosses. Now, in the waves, if you got lo if you got far enough into the wave system, I think it's around wave 10, wave 20. They started spawning gigantic bosses that were just so difficult to kill. So that's why you had to really create a kill box, and that's what these Rickies are for mostly, is just the kill box for when the people come. When the popo come, you know. Yeah. You know. <gasps> anyway, spawning a Laszlo for troop reasons, troop wave reasons, you'll see why. He does damage over time does damage over time so yeah we're gonna use him into our advantage let's create more of a kill box with more rickies because they do heavy damage but they shoot slower and they have targeting Woo. um I have drank through a full bottle of water like full two liter Oh god, I need, I drank like 8 liters of water a day, it's crazy. Anyways, now we're starting to get to the powerful, more of the burner flaming staff people. Basically they do fire damage and they burn your troops so it does damage over time. Mortys are really becoming useless at this point because they're really not doing anything because we're killing stuff faster than they can, you know, affect us. Yeah, that of the troop waves are right now killing themselves with the rocket guys. So watch, as you can see, bam. Um, we're really just waiting on another Sid. There we go. We got what we asked for. Another Sid. Bam. More overpoweredness. Basically, these guys stretched across the entire map, and were you just literally had to charge to kill them, or else you're slowly gonna die. That's what me and my friends aim for. Once one of us got like one to two Sids, we had to charge, or else we were gonna lose the battle. And we knew about, and we knew we were gonna lose if we kept it up. So, sell the Maudie because we really don't need him anymore. Never suicide your troops to get cubes. Always sell them because it works better, and they don't get any cubes for it. So, yeah. As we wait for the next troop wave to come, I'm sorry I'm not changing the view so much. Uh, just for the main fact is that I like the view I can mostly see. I can move the view to this if you guys would want, if you guys help a little, I don't know. We got another SID. Let me place my SID there, please. Uh, dang it. Uh, still, however part of the SID is, we're in the back of the map and it still reaches across the map. To snipe enemy targets. Once that rookie gets taken out, we'll place the sit again. So let's wait. I'm not gonna spam click because okay, bam, spam click. We have another sid drop. Oh god. Um. I don't know where else to put him. To be honest. Bam. We're gonna put him here. We're gonna sell this flint. And this Fred, because they're basically useless to us now. We just have a little kill box of Rickies here. And a Laszlo to try to wear him down. That's basically what I've built, is the Ricky kill box. It's basically just a bunch of rockets. And yeah, so we're going to spawn more SIDs. With the main fact of removing the kill box a little bit to spawn more SIDs. As you can see, they're trying to get close to our SIDs. 
And as you can see, the kill box basically represents our entire base. We can get more of a level here, and somewhat stretching out. SIDs are just overpowered, even from the back ranges. And the SIDs basically shoot at the enemy as well, when there's no enemies in the back. We have decimated their troop force so much, really they have nothing. The only disadvantage with SIDs is they cannot shoot on the move, they have to be crouched, so if they're not in the crouch position like this guy is, and they're moving like that guy was, they're not going to be able to do anything. And as you can see, SIDs are damaged from it being attacked from creeps. And as you can see, they will start attacking creep waves. What I just want to do is finish off my kill box, and I'll be happy. And then I'll start attacking their base directly. Ah, oh, they spawned in our base, bam. The last is always in the middle because he does damage over a second and actually can target more than one unit. If you set him to it, I set him at single. Mostly because he does a ton of damage with single. Anyway, shoot that grill, please. Hey. Thank you. One Sid gets my flow. And here comes... And basically, what we have done... This my strategy. What my strategy has done is basically we have drained them of all their cubes. That's why they're only spawning one Ricky over there. I think these are, where's the big boss? I don't think these are the big bosses. I might just keep the series going until we see the big bosses, but I don't think we have time for that, so let's just uh, spawn a bunch of grills. Get all up in their grill. Haha, <laughs> pun intended. And basically just, yeah, spam grills at them. That's what you gotta do, it takes up their spaces. And sure, it gives them cubes, but really I have a full fledge kill box and killing zone with my SIDs. The waves aren't even leaving the castle. I don't think they'll have anywhere to spawn in a second here. Come on, send that wave. They basically have no cubes right now, and I think this wave will kill them. Be perfectly honest, I think this wave is going to kill them. Yeah, it's gonna kill him. I think we won this. Pretty much. Yeah, we've won. Basically, now we're just closing out the video with we have won. Unless somehow we don't get 10 units in this and we have to keep going. I mean, it's pretty obvious. I used to, I always play white because white's just, you can't get it confused with other colors. You really can't. And yeah, so we're going to do this. If you guys want me to be more energetic in my videos, you're going to have to get me someone to play with, you know. If I'm playing with friends, then yeah, I'll have fights and stuff. We are back. Num num num. Oh, that's right, we have grills we can place. Thank you. Boop, boop. Now they have nowhere to spawn, so that means they have no way to use their cubes, and we are waiting for the creep wave. We're going to speed this up. For the main fact is that, hey, we have won. And now, there we go. Victory has been completed. Bam, the base has exploded. <laughs> the very non-copyrighted thing. Anyways, these were the final stats. NPC kills 100, unit kills 43, units lost the entire game. I only lost two. Lives left seven in my score of 10,650, with the AI bot being... NPCs killed 84, unit kills 2, units lost 43, lives left 0, and a score of 2,810. I have been your protector off the deck text here, and wow, that was a horrible fail intro. Outro. I'm still failing. I have been your protector off the deck. Oh my god, I can't do this, man. Hold on, hold on. Be right back. We're going to get this clear, then we're going to do it again. I have been your protector off the deck. Oh my god, I can't do it. <laughs> so embarrassing. I'm making a